Well, here we go. It's a new season here at KV Mecklen. We got a lot of stuff to cover before we even get into the matches. We got a new vice captain. We want to go over homegrown players. And we've got to solve this cook problem. Is he going to leave or not? Well, let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Well, it's finally here. It's a new season. And I'm excited about what we're going to do with this side. We've got a lot of young players. We've done a little bit of change into the side. It's not, not a ton. Like I said, we, we lost three players and we brought up three players in the last episode. And we signed a bunch of youngsters. If you missed that, go back and watch the transfer special. You'll see what we're doing here at KV Mecklen where we are signing players that can become homegrown or just Belgian players. We were not signing foreign players that cannot become homegrown is basically the, the concept of the transfer uh, policy that we put in place on ourselves. And that being said, let's get into the first thing I want to talk about. That is players that will become homegrown at some point during 2023. And dudes, there's quite a bit of them. Now there's not. Mm -mm. There's none of them. It's when it's next year. You get okay. It's the same. It's before next season. Is what I'm getting at. Uh, Oscar Fraulo will be one of them. Gasson will be one of them. Essa Hall. I'm guessing Junior will be trained at club. Uh, some of this is a little bit confusing. Mabangalu, he's already trained, right? I'm not sure about Mabangalu. That one's kind of weird. Uh, Kaylin Knott will be here. Mr. Anderson, Issa, Banu. We're not looking at the Belgian guys. We don't care. And that's going to be it. So, like I said, Banu, Issa, Mr. Anderson, Kaylin Knock, Issa Hall, Gasson, and Fralu. And I think Junior will be trained at club. I'm not 100% sure on that. I could be wrong. If I am, I apologize. And I am I'm happy about that. That's, that's awesome. Look at how many names that's on that list. That is that's cool. That's very cool. All these guys are first team players as well. So that's that's not even including the people that we have on the second team. Uh, we, we, I mean, we can take a look at it, can't we? Can we take a look at it? You want to take a look at it? I kind of I kind of want to. Uh, it's going to be Kaylin knocking Issa on the first team on the second or under twenty ones. I mean, I'm not I'm checking under eighteens for some reason. Nobody there. But yeah, that's that's the people that will come homegrown. That's that's really good. There's a lot of players. That's I mean that'll help out with squad registration. I'm I'm really excited about that. That's uh that's a lot of our players. A lot of them, and that's that's good news. We got some players that are still wanted. Junior's still wanted by Cardiff. Kalen Nock, he is wanted by uh, team in the second division in Germany. Gent is interested in Issa, and I'm not disappointed in selling Issa. I don't think he's really all that anymore. Banu wanted by Udinese still. Togu. Probably that team that wanted to loan him in for absolutely nothing. Uh, Cook is on under a bid for Schalke, which is really nervous. Daisy is wanted by Cardiff as well. Uh, who is this guy? Nico Daly, he's wanted for loan. So not not a ton, not a ton. I mean, obviously the big worry we have is Bonu. Is, is Udinese ever going to come in and offer for Bonu? He's been, he's been a target of theirs for a while. They've never came in. It's, he's always listed as a major interest from them. So that's a bit scary. Uh, speaking of Cook, if you missed it, 10.5 million release clause in his contract. Schalke has matched that. Earlier in the offseason, Bristol City matched it. He turned them down. And I was, I've kind of settled down a little bit on Schalke. I don't know if he will want to go there. And the reason why, they're playing in the second division in Germany. And not like they just got relegated i'm not sure when they got relegated but it wasn't last year so they've been in it for at least this is at least their second season in the second division so maybe he doesn't go but if he does we've got we've got a backup plan obviously in place looking at our backup goalkeep i think if you compare him and cook i haven't i haven't actually done it i haven't done this so i could be totally wrong on this uh those are the guys that i have that i want that i'm scouting right now cook's a little bit better at me I mean, he's better at communicating. He's more eccentric, which I really don't care about that. He's a little bit better aerial in the air. Um, Lilo's better at, at distribution. He's actually a little bit better at stop blocking as well. And uh, his mental ability is a little bit better. So that's 
that's something we got to keep in mind. I don't. Th I think they're 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 obviously different types of gold keeps, but I don't think it's just like terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, his command of area was, is better. His communications a little bit better. It's not like crazy. One thing that does worry me about Lilo is his first touch is really terrible. Uh, Handling's they're both pretty good. Kicking Lilo is actually a little bit better. He's he's better at one on ones. He's better at passing. He's better at punching. Uh, reflexes are the same, and uh, Cook is a little bit more. He's a little bit more. He runs out a little bit more is what I'm trying to say. And uh, Lilo's a little bit better at throwing as well. So it's it's pretty close, I think, between these. I mean, it's not really, but I do feel like I feel like Lilo would be a solid goal keep for us if we do end up selling him. That being said, what I have kind of decided to do is scout some older goal keeps. And that being either if Lilo doesn't get started off really hot, really good, we can bring in one of these other guys. He can start. Or if Lilo starts off really good, these are going to be really solid backups. And uh, they may be actually a little bit too good to be backups. Looking at some of these players, uh, we brought up Simon up first from Club Bruges. Like I said, we're still scouting him, so I don't know what his overall ratings, his star ratings. I think he's one of the guys that might be just a little bit too good. He might want to actually be a starter if we bring him in. Uh, Alex Kranich, he's playing at uh, Mold now. He looks pretty good as well. I mean, one of those situations, he might want to be a first-choice goal keep for us. Uh, Hendrik Van Combrugge, another player. I think these are all solid backups and all solid starters as well. We may have to, if we want to do the backup, we may have to knock it down just a little bit. But uh, I think these guys have really good potential. I think they could be something for us if we if we bring them in. And like I said, they're all older guys, so Lilo would still be kind of waiting to be a starter. Uh, I do want to I do want to take a look at some gold keeps that I think are a little bit worse than these guys. Uh, yeah, that's where we're sitting at. That that is where we're sitting. We, we've yeah, it's the cook thing really scares me. The cook thing really does scare me because I think I think there's a possibility he takes this offer. Club that has a pretty high reputation. I don't know what I just clicked. I meant to click that, but uh, we didn't. We're going up against Antwerp first. First match of the season. We're going to roll out a pretty good squad against them. We're going to hit quick pick right quick. You like that? Hit quick pick right quick. Uh, Junior's going to start the match. As I said, I, I really want to transition to him trying to be our starting right back. Does he do it? I, I really don't know. And Mr. Anderson, he had a great season last year. Van Lundberg, his contract expires at the end of the season. I'm thinking what we do with him this year, he's going to be our third choice center back, and he can play as a midfield player as well. We'll probably change his role to a ball-winning midfield when he goes into that, those areas. But uh, his versatility keeps him on, 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 the, on the side, at least for right now. And I want to look and see who we want to bring up from here for the bench player. For the goalkeeper, we want Lilo to start. I want Lilo to start. I'm, I'm planning like I'm planning like Cook's gone. I, I don't want to, but I'm having to. All right. So what do we need on the bench? Still good at midfield. We got some good midfield players there. So I really don't need Rob Hart to come in this match, do I? I mean, I, I like Rob Hart. Sorry, Van Lemberg. <laughs> that was quick for him, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, obviously we don't have a backup left back on the bench. That's tough. I think we bring Van Doss on. I think that's just the safest play. I really do. And we want to make these guys right here. I haven't done it yet. Hart's hurt. Hart is hurt. I, did, I forgot about that. We want to make these three guys right here. Issa, Behrman, and uh, Fraulo available until they're match fit. Okay, you are already. Frallo, Frallo, we want him to be on for the under 21s as well. Just to keep a match fit, because they're not going to play every match for us. They're going to be bench level players and uh, kind of on the back end of that. Van Lemberg, you're coming back on. Rob Hart, you're going back down. All right, so we got Lilo and Goal, a back four of Junior, Mr. Anderson, Norman Williamson, and Dacey. Midfield consists of Schuffs, S. Hall, Miskovich, right hand side, Valentina, left hand side, Big Rick up top, Bono. That's right, we're calling him Big Rick now. Don't ask me why. It's it's just it is what it is. That's what we're doing. Forgot to announce. We're not starting this match yet. We're not starting it. I want to click somebody's name. Let me click somebody's name. There we go. Okay. We'll come back to it. We got a new vice captain. That ain't where you find it. 
Dacey is our new vice captain. Go ahead, give him a round of applause. Rob Schiff's was maintained as the captain. It's a little bit scary with him, his contract expiring. And we have a new number 20. We have a new number 20. And I'm going to let you guys take a guess at who it is. Not Schiff's anymore. He's, he's, he's not wearing the number 20. Okay. You guessed Bonu? Well, you're incorrect. We have gave it to Miskovic. Miskovic is our new number 20. I'm really excited about him. I'm, I'm, I want to see what he can do. Donning that new number. It's, it's, a, it's an honor to wear the number 20. We haven't found anybody here at KV Mecklen that's, that's had it more than, what, Schiff's had it two seasons? And Harriman's had it one, I think. So maybe, maybe Miskovic can make that that number his own in this in this season. I mean, hopefully. It'd be nice. Going to be up to Antwerp, they had an underwhelming season last year. They didn't make it into the top four. That's how many teams make it to the championship group? Four, right? I think so. They didn't make it. So they're going to try to look them back. They're going to try to be a little bit better this season, trying to get back into that group. And uh, we're going to try to maintain being in that group. Valentina gets his head on it. Can't get a finish out of it. If you remember last year, Big Rick started off really, really poor. Lilo does a good job pushing that over. Uh, Big Rick started off really poor. Really heated it up in the last fourth of the season, I would say. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that he maintains that this year. I did just realize something. They've got a player on their team that absolutely destroyed us the last time we played And I'm not giving him the, the, the benefit this time. It's this guy right here we want to go. Hard on the tackles on you. I don't want to give him an opportunity. What? Okay. Game bugged out a little bit. Valentina was there standing up. Next thing you know, he's doing a spinner Rooney, and then he's just standing right back up without even acting like he was on the ground. That was a uh, – you missed that. Go back and check that little interaction out. That was an interesting one. That was – was – Kind of looked a little painful. I don't know what happened there with the game. Okay, that was the guy we wanted to tackle hard. That was the guy we wanted to tackle hard. You, you, you didn't tackle him hard. Who was that? Was that Dacey? It had to be Dacey, didn't it? I mean, that was like a knife cutting through hot Buddha. I want you to tackle him right there. Dacey, come on, dude. We got a new goalkeeper in the back. I need you to help me out, brother. We're not starting off hot. Not, not been a hot, hot start. Not been the start that we wanted. We're going to drop some encouragement on the guys. Lilo's a little, bit, a little bit nervous out there. I really don't want that. Not out of my starting goalkeeper right now. I'm really expecting us that we'll have Lilo starting these next, this match and the next one. And it's going to be a good test. It's going to be a real good test to see what we want to do. I think he's looked okay. I think he could have done a little bit more on that goal. He's had, he's had two stops today that looked pretty good. But it's going to be a test for him to see how he can do as the number one. And if he doesn't do really well, like I said, we're scouting a couple guys that I think can come in and do a job a little bit better than Cook, honestly. A hard tackle there. We don't see the result of it. I was hoping there would be a highlight out of that unfortunately there wasn't and we looked really poor looked really poor big rick not looking the best right now come on bud you started out you ended the season so well i want you to start it back up again put that down so we can actually see what's happening richter with the ball plays it to bono you don't get to hear the name big rick unless you're doing big rick things richter bono plays it back he gets it to daisy Miskovic, the new number 20, plays it in the shoofs, buries it in the back of the net for his first of the season. It's 1-1. Miskovic is on the assist. Go ahead. Miskovic. Hey, I'm telling you, kid has it. He has all the stuff we need. Apparently, uh, our assistant manager just wants us to do everything to that guy that was a goal scorer. It said it came up with the tightly market, and then it just said press him hard, and I'm already tackling him hard. We're just trying to – we're throwing the entire books at him just – Hit him with everything we got. That's that's what we're going for, basically, out of that. It's good to get a tie right there. Tie it back up 1-1. One, one. Finally getting a little bit of an attack going, even though it was through the midfield instead of our attackers. A little bit worrisome. A little bit worrisome that our attack is not, not living up to height. Miskovic wins the ball, plays it forward. Kind of just like a clearance at that point, wasn't it? Bonu wasn't ready for it. 
Antwerp gets possession. And I don't like how this is going. I don't like how this one's going. Hey, break his leg. Whenever he gets the ball, just I just want you to hit him as hard as you possibly can. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit lucky there. Got a little bit lucky. Shifts from a set piece. Mr. Anderson just sells it over the top. All right. Okay. It's tied up at halftime. It is an away match. It's it's not a bad start to the season. I just wish the attack was doing just a just a little bit more. We do have some better players, though, I think, on the bench than what we had last year. Mabangalu can come in for Richter. I'm, I think Mabangalu can be a really good player. It might take him a while. Banu gets his first of the season. He's heard me talking about the striking. He's heard me talking about the attackers. He wanted to get in on the action. 2-1 now. We take the lead over Antwerp right after the halftime whistle. And that's, that's lovely. Get that out of here. I want to see what this play. Good stuff by Bono. He hadn't scored from open play yet, but we'll take it from the set piece. That's good stuff. That is definitely good stuff. I'm looking at taking Richter off and Junior off. I, I still want to roll with Junior. I know he's having a little bit of a poor performance today, but I do think he, he's better than Walsh already. All right, it's time to make the changes. Rick, Big Rick. Nope, his name's not Big Rick until he does something Big Rick-like. Richter's coming off. Uh, we're bringing the Bangaloo on, and uh, Junior's coming off for Sandy Walsh as well. This is your you guys' first time actually seeing Mabangalu come out there and play any. You uh you've missed out on him. He's a pretty good player. I'm excited about him. He didn't have he didn't have the best of uh matches in that super cup thing, but I do think he's gonna be a pretty good player for us. Banu gets a brace, three one. That's that's like icing on the cake right there. He scores from open play here, I think, doesn't he? I didn't really see it. I was had a notification on the phone. Fantasy football. Not American football. I apologize. It's, don't be mad at me. I call both of them football. So <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Nobody else does, though. Lovely stuff by Banu. We're going to make our final change. We're going to go ahead and take Miskovic off. He's a little bit tired. And, well, we have Van Leberg on the bench, who can be a pretty good ball-winning midfield, I assume. Can he, like, is he a good box-to-box? -box? Because, like, if he is, I mean... He really, he's a really good box to box, isn't he? Like, he may be getting starts over shifts. He may have just turned into our new box to box midfield on that right hand side. I mean, we did demote shifts to be a squad level player. Uh, we've done the same, I think, with Walsh and Van Leberg. I could be wrong on that, but. If Van Lieberg is that good in the mid, I didn't realize he was that. I, I didn't realize that we was playing a center back that had a ten plus finishing. I mean, he looks like a really good box to box to me. Norman Williamson plays this to Esther Hall, who bangs it forward. Anu just lurking in the shadows, just waiting to pounce. He doesn't get to it in time this time though. And now Antwerp's looking to counter. There's the guy we don't like. I do not like him. Break. We went for the tackle. It was missed. Norman Williamson plays it to Mbangalu, who gets it up to Banu, and that's going to be the end of the highlight. Van Lenberg is now on the pitch. Guys, he may actually get the start in the next match over Schuff's. On that, like, I really liked how he looked as a as a box to box force. Three minutes of added time. We're going to get away with a win. Way to start the season off, my dudes. Way to go. Banu, 8.4. Antwerp has to feel hard done by. They had an XG of 3.34. We had one of 1.7, and we won. And Lilo, hey, may not need to get a starting level goalkeeper at this point. We may just need to get a uh, a backup. Well, it happened. Sold a goalkeeper. I'm a, I'm a, I'm. I knew it was coming. I really did. I knew it was coming. It's it's tough though. The good news is, though, it wasn't Cook. It was uh, Valkaneers. We sold Valkaneers. Uh, he left the club for 28K. It wasn't, it wasn't nothing. We got rid of him. And I'm excited about it. We did bring in a couple more players, though. Two. One. Brought in one. I'm guessing the other one's uh, going to be a future transfer. I thought it was. It is a future transfer. Damn. Got to wait a long time to get his ass in. That sucks. Okay. 
Well, the Russian, he's not he's not in yet. But we did bring in the left back option that we discussed in the last episode, Merrick Nimchik. He's a right back. He's a right back, not a left back. Uh, he looks pretty good. He's a two-star player, five-star potential, either footed. I like him. I think he's a pretty good one. I really do. And we got away with another. Uh, we got away with one. We got away with one. If you can look here by Dylan Dacey. He's wanted by Leipzig. They came in with like a 5.2 offer, but it was one of those ones that they got all the all the added bonuses if he does that, if he does this. And it was one of those of like, hey, it's going to probably equal to around like 18.2. Okay. I mean, like, hey, if y'all want to come in and actually offer me 18.2 or 18.5, whatever it was, straight up, I'll, I'll ship him out. I like Basie. I don't like him that much. I mean, he's a good player. He's not that good to me. We can find another left back that's really cheap, I think, that can play at the same position, or not the same position, can play at the same level as him. As him. He, he's not a really consistent player for us to me. Like, he's he's a good player, but he's not consistent. And another, another, another worry, Banu came in wanting to leave. He wants to go to a bigger club. I, I called Schuff's into the office. I was like, hey, man, look, you know we got one of the best young kids in the world, and that's, that's Banu. Can you try to keep him? Like, I got you, boss. And he went in there and talked to him, laid down the law, and Banu's happy to stay now. Still wanted by Udinese. Still haven't got an offer for him, so, hey. But with Cook declining that contract, that means he is back into the starting lineup right off the bat. Junior, getting the start again. I, like I said, I really want to see what this kid has to offer. I think he's a good player. Uh, it's just going to take time to see what he can do. We discussed this in the last ep the last match. We want to play Vandalberg. We want to play him up in the midfield. I got to sneeze, I think, guys. Okay, I do apologize for that. But uh, we discussed we want to play Van Leberg in the midfield, so we're going to do that, see if he can uh, – see how good he is at it because he's – hey, attribute-wise, he looked really damn good, didn't he? Uh, I think he's going to be pretty good. I want to bring Rob Hart in. He's – not fit. He's been injured. It's it's been an up and down time for him. He's been banged up a little bit. And uh, do we want to bring anybody else up? Do we want to? Frollo's picked up an injury. He's out for two weeks. Van Das has picked up an injury. He's out for two weeks. With Bangalore, he is banged up. He's going to be back in two days, so we don't bring him on. I mean, I guess we were old with that. I don't really see anybody else we want to bring in. We got Cook and Goal back four of Junior, Mr. Anderson, and Norman Williamson, and Daly. Midfield consists of Vandalberg, Gasson, Miskovic. Right hand side, Knock. Left hand side, Richter up top, Banu. Let's do this thing. Making sure my mic, I made, I made sure I unmuted it because I didn't after I got done sneezing. Go me. Ooh, that, that sneeze. When I sneeze, I, I sure enough sneeze. It's like four or five times, and it's like it's a grown man sneeze. It's not like a little baby one. It's a it's one that hurts afterwards, and I'm I'm struggling a bit after that. I do apologize. There's the lineup we're putting out there. I'm excited about this lineup. I think this is a good lineup. I really think with the midfield, I think Van Lambert really throws a new option for us at that. I'm I'm excited to see what he can do. Going up against a good opponent, though, standard. They they was in second, third most of the season last year. I think they ended up finishing in third place right below Anderlecht, who we, we beat for the league in the last episode. It was awesome. But, uh, yeah, I think they finished third, so they're a good side. We did struggle with them. When Cook was out last season, they put the hammer on us. They put the hammer on us. Hopefully we can stop that today. We've got four shots. We haven't allowed any shots on them. Five shots now, three of them on target. We're looking good in the attack. We're just not getting any highlights at this point. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. 30 minutes now, and we finally get one. Miskovic from his corner. He's getting it to Anderson, who gets it over the top. Is, is, is Richter going to be Richter today, or is he going to be Big Rick? Really hope it's Big Rick. I really do. I like Big Rick a lot better than Richter. Miskovic doing another job there, winning that ball. Richter running down with him. Not calling him Big Rick yet. Banu. 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 Oh my God. What are, how did he miss it? How? How? I thought it was for sure. I did. I really did. I thought that was a surefire goal for us. 
if Richter keeps doing passes like that and getting players into attacking positions, he'll be Big Rick again before the match is over. But, wow, Anu just absolutely butchered that shot. That was a good opportunity we had there. Nock has the ball, works it inside, gets it to Miskovic, who takes a shot. I mean, who is this man that's playing up top? That is not Banu. Banu does not miss these shots. Man, Van Leberg, beautiful. You, beautiful man winning that ball. Junior plays it to Nock. Van Leberg now playing it forward. He's got Banu on another run. Manu's missed two. I guess his third deflected. Dang. What? I'm I'm I am I'm 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 lost for words. Ugh. Was that him right there that had had his head on that? I mean, he's not a great aerial player, but Jesus Murphy. We got twenty shots to their one, and we got eight shots on target, and we got Dick to show for it. Yeah, going back to Dacey, if if they want to offer 18.5, he's not a consistent player for me. Uh, I like consistency. He he's never been a he, he has games where he'll come out and put out a seven, and then the next game he has below a 6.4. So as much as I like him, and I think he's a really good player, I'd rather have somebody that can consistently put up a 6.8 for us. Van Leberg plays it to Dacey here. The man is now playing it to Gasson. Van Leberg, Jr., Junior gets his first of the season. Van Leberg on the assist, 1-0. He said, hey, man, I know Bonu's he's not really being Bonu today. I'll try to help out. And he hits an absolute firecracker from outside the box. I think it was outside the box. I hope it was after I said that. I mean, it was right on the line, wasn't it? That's what we'll say. Good job by Junior. That was, that was lovely. Like I said, I do think he's going to be a really good player for us. It's just going to be one of those things. we got to get him in motion. we got to get him playing games. we got to let him start a lot of these matches and, and see how he holds up to it. Uh, Dacey is – I'm I'm not dealing with it, man. I'm really not. They're not playing great. He can come off. Uh, Richter's getting a little bit nervous. We're going to bring in – I don't know who we want to bring in for him. We don't have Mabangalu on the bench. So, uh, toughen up. That's all I got to say to you, really. But do we want to make another change, though? Like, I don't really see a change that I want to make right now. I'm really happy with how the side's playing. We're, we're getting into good positions. We're, we're creating great opportunities. Defensively, we played really well. I really like this midfield that we got today. Hassan's looked good. Van Leberg has looked amazing on that right-hand side for us in the midfield. And he's he's begging for some more starts. We got to get a stop here, though. This is a dangerous one. I'm getting a little bit nervous here. I don't like these highlights that kind of hang around on the edge of the box where they're just waiting for something to happen. Uh, somebody got in the way of that, deflected it, and that was a good job by them. Richter plays it to Banu. Banu. Banu's not been Banu's not been Banu today. He's got in great positions, and I understand why he's putting out a seven point one. He's he's looked really good. It's just he hasn't quite got the finish down today. We're going to wait to see who wants to get tired. We got two subs, so we're, we're still sitting really fine. Okay, so Miskovic. Miskovic is coming off. Hart coming on. I'm good with that change. Uh, Anderson is tired as well. Sim Ardor is coming on. Hopefully we'll see it out. I mean, we should have won this match a lot more than what we did. 13 shots on target, and we only come away with one of them. It's not over yet, though. It's not... Van Leberg doing a good job getting a foot in there. Oh, my God. He was an own goal. This, current, this game is a cruel, cruel game. I mean, he absolutely butchered that. He was having a good game, and that right there dropped him to a 6.2. I mean, God.
I mean, we should have scored more. We really should have. But Cook had that. He stopped it. How we only get a draw out of that? Here's the players that we was looking at. I mean, some of them. And he would have been a good signing, probably. How much did they want for him? Uh, he'd have been, he would have been really good, too, if he would have wanted to come. I think we'd have probably went with him, just because he's... I'm frustrated right now. I am so frustrated after that. Wow. I'm at a loss for words how that match ended. That really, really bites. I was so excited for Cook to be back. And then he done that. That was... That's rough. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.